Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over an artbeads.com haul with you guys. And if there's time at the end, then I'm going to start working on a necklace that I plan on um, creating and putting on the shop. So um, this is from artbeads.com. Here is my package slip. Bloop, bloop. Nope, nope. So I got a couple things and uh, they package it all nice and pretty pretty. There we go. Bloop, bloop. There we go. Hold that. Thanks. Got a coupon card thing in my bubber right here. And yep, it's got a coupon on the back. And these are bloop. I should probably start keeping this stuff. All right, hold that. Hold that. Okay, so there was a pretty large sale on Chuck Beads, Chuck Glass. So I kind of have a small obsession with Chuck Glass. Just a wee bit. Should I clean out my shelf? And I got some. Bloop. And I do have another order coming. I just, I just can't help it. You're so pretty. I have no self-control. What can I say? All right. So this one is the um, Fire Polished Bead Ruby. Mm -mm -mm. Ruby. Pretty. Oh my gosh. This one is a Siam Ruby. Pretty. Um, smoky Topaz. That's pretty. I like that one. Um, Tanzanite ch -ch 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 Flash Pearl. Where's my color? I guess tanzanite's the color. I thought tanzanite was a stone. Mm -mm. What do I know? I just get them because they're pretty. This one is Roslyn Luster. Oh, this one's big. Look at this one big. This one is a Scion Ruby. Uh, this one's 8 millimeter. That is just so pretty. I got a lot of six millimeter. Um, this one is a, uh, this one's actually a rebuy. It's a teal fuchsia. Uh, this one is aquamarine. I love this color. This one is a green opal. Uh, gold marbled light sapphire. Interesting. Um, ruby Cilician. I think that's a, a type of crystal because I've seen that before. And I think it's a, it's an effect that they do to the crystals, I think. Oh, you can actually see them better down here. I like this one a lot. Go in there. Bloop, bloop. Oh, in the hole. Yeah, we're in the hole. Okay. Um, this one, I really like this one. This one is an indigo orchid. Oh, that is so pretty. Um, a matte milky amethyst. Ooh, aren't you interesting? Um, color trends saturated. Yeah, that's nice. What color are you? <laughs> the color is A10306B07. 
have no idea, but it's really pretty. <laughs> Uh, blue iris. Oh, I like that. Um, tanzanite again. This one's a three millimeter. I tried to get some red because apparently I don't have very much red. Sherbert. That's pretty. Um, a cherub. A halo cherub. This one is Siam as well. Same with the big giant red one. Oh, this is really cool. This is a closure. So I want to try to start playing with the closures a little bit. I've never played with them before, so I really, really want to start playing with them. Um, this one is an oval flower toggle clasp with patina. This one's a gold ruby, a suede gold ruby. That's really cool. This one is a bronze illusion fire polished. Oh, that one might actually go well with the um, one I have planned over here. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, a suede light green. A suede gold capri blue. This one's a rebuy. This one is a peach and pear. Um, amaranth, amaranth, amaranth. I don't know. Um, this one is a teal and turquoise. I believe this one's a rebuy as well. Um, Montana Blue. That's pretty cool. Uh, Denim Mirror. Ooh, that is neat. I like that one. Uh, Color Trend Saturated. Um, this one is the same as the last one, but I feel like it's a 08 instead of, yeah, this one's an 07 and this one's an 08. Um, this one is a luster mix. I wanted to see what their mixes was, were, was, is, were, something. Anyway, it's a nice, pretty combination. Um, cranberry mirror. That's pretty. Fuchsia, twilight fuchsia. Gold Alexandrite, suede gold Alexandrite. Uh, another amaranth, amaranth, but this one is four millimeter. I think the last one was two. Uh, six millimeter teal. Looks more turquoise to me, but okay. Um, bronze Illusion Fire. This one is white and pink pour fire. Mm, it's pretty though. That is really pretty. Um, fuchsia Celestian Celestian. And light green metallic suede. And then the last one is opaque bright orange Picasso. That's cool. All right, and that's it. I'm going to actually throw these in my box over here. Um, and I did empty it out from the last haul. I did empty it out and get it all put away. So that's where these are going to go. And then after this video, I will get all of these put away. So... What I am doing today actually is going to be a necklace. As soon as I find my necklace. All right, so there's my necklace. 
And I'm going to need some spacers. And I need... Oh, yeah. That. That. Uh, not so much that. Uh, that's still from... I don't know why that's out, but... And this is my other spacers. So I'm not sure which, if either one of these I'm going to use. But these are smaller, these are bigger. Because I do have some, um, looks like 12, maybe 14 millimeter. Mm. Uh, I was close, 16. 15.7. Yep. Yep. All right. And let's see. I don't know what I want to do with them yet, but I do get these new players. I do like them. I don't think I'm going to use all of these beads. I just wanted the giant ones here that were on that strand. So what I'm going to do here is I'll probably do five, maybe three, maybe do three. And I'm not sure I'm going to use these guys. And I had a bag. There you are. Okay. And let me grab a bag for these ones. Mm. That should be big enough. Just so they're not rolling all over the place. Let's start with three and see what happens from there. All right. So... I'm going to take my stopper off of one end and I'm going to figure out what I want to do with this. Mm. Now I could and so to me this is part of the fun of making jewelry is really designing it and getting to play with it. See, these might actually be too big. Yep, I think those might be too big. And I don't think I have an in-between, <laughs> which is funny. All right, let's see. Am I going to be able to make you work? Actually, I think I am. All right. So let's put you away. We're not going to use you. We use a couple of you guys. You guys. So you guys are going to have to let me know. Do you like these beating um, videos? Like, I know that a lot of you like the craft with me videos, but I know beading is like a different world. All right. So, where is that? I like this. All right. Now what? We can do... See, do one of these. Followed by one of these. Do I have one open? I do not.
Hmm. Grab a couple of those out. And then I think this is going to be my filler. This one here. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go pink or purple with this route. And I do a lot of pink, so I figured I would go with purple here. All right. I like these two, though. Hmm. I feel like these might match better. Mm. All right. I know I just opened that up, but that's okay. We'll just put them back. No big. All right, and these are the check that I just got, the Bronze Illusion Fire. Fire polished is it's just the way they're finished is all. All right. So, let's go with this, and then we'll do five pearls. That's one. I'm doing this left-handed. Okay, and that's five. Okay, and then do another one of these. Okay. Another one of these. And I only need one. 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 And one. Now, something I have noticed in my um, beating videos i am a lot more quiet i'm a lot quieter more quiet i think is the correct terminology for that Ding. all right all right i think we need to put you on the other side that's the problem one, two, three. One. Oh. Two and three. And then two more. And one of these. One of these. But come back here. Okay. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I really like this. Okay. One of these. One of those. Oh no! Come back! So, my husband had to come home from work early today because we lost my cat. And I started freaking out. <laughs> because I know what it means when your cat hides. <laughs> I've had cats my whole life. And I started freaking out. <laughs> he was like, you need to calm down. <laughs> like, I gotta calm down. <sighs> but we found her. <laughs> she 
She was hiding beside my dresser, and she was fine. She was perfectly fine. I mean, considering she's she's still sick. Um, we're still giving her the steroids that Doc gave us. But, uh... Yeah, I almost want to put these in between the pearls, too. The... These pearls. No, I think we'll leave it. Alright, so that is that. Alright, let's put you. Okay, that works. That's two. And that's five. Okay. All right, now to decide how I want to continue, where is my little stuffery upper thing? Mm, I think I might have lost it. All right, so the only ones that are in the house right now are my daughter and I. My youngest daughter and I. So it's like bizarre. <laughs> um, where did you go? Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, I'm just going to use this one then. Like, I don't know what happened to it. And I mean, it's clear, so it's not like it's super easy to see anyway. All right, so anyway, um, here's that one. That one. And and I just swapped sides is all. So I was working from one side and now I'm working from the other. And I believe these are some of the pearls that I got from the Etsy shop that I found that was de-stashing. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I almost want to continue it all the way around. Hmm. Or we could just do it like this, I think. There might be enough for that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. And then All right, so now I'm going to swap again. This is much easier if I had a second stopper, which I do. I just don't know what happened to it. All right. So. I'm going to put two. Well, there's a third. Or, oh, wait. I do. Oh, I found it. I found it. There it is right there. 
All right, so. There's one. And then let's see where we're at. After we put this strand on here, might do one more on each side, maybe two. Because we have to give ourselves room to um, to create the loops on either side. But right now we still have plenty of room to do that. And I like making them bigger because that means that, um, I'll move you guys down just a little bit because I have a tendency of pulling forward. Anyway, I like using um, the, um, like the bigger because then I can basically, I can sell to a broader audience because then it's not limited to only the average size. Now, granted, these are memory wire anyway, but um, it'll wrap on a smaller neck. Like, it'll loop back behind it. But on a larger neck, it'll fit nice and comfortably. And trust me, I know I've been there. I was like, you know, I had um, a very large neck, and I hated wearing jewelry because I was like, it never fit me right. All right, so we've got one, two here. One, two, and then put one there, and then let's do one more. And that should put us at putting two more on the other side, and we should be suffice with that. Oh, I missed. All right. Okay. And we may not have enough room to do all of them, but we might. So let's see. And I really do like doing the memory wire because I like being able to make jewelry for the plus size lady. Because I am and have been plus size my whole life. So I like having pretty things. I figured other plus size ladies would like having pretty things too. Anyway, y'all are going to have to let me know if you like watching me make jewelry. Because I enjoy doing it. Because as long as y'all watch it, or as long as y'all like it and y'all watch it, I will continue to do it. Come out. Come out, you. Okay, look. My nails are getting in the way. All right. all right so it'll get tightened up but that is the choker okay so let's go with this one first it's a little bit shorter actually it doesn't really matter Mm, actually, let's clean up a little bit because in this process, um, the wire moves a lot and I don't want it to accidentally hit one of these guys and throw beads all over the place because um, we all know that I throw enough beads all by myself. 
I do not need help. Okay. Right, we're going to cut that down just a little tiny bit. didn't use those at all. Alrighty. So, that is it. We're going to use those pliers and we're going to use Do I have you out somewhere? Oh, no. You're just hiding. Those players. So I'm going to loop this around and I'm actually going to make it have several loops. Um, and I like to have several loops because um, I don't want it to come undone. Okay. So this one has a total of two loops. It does have a third, but that third is going to get folded in um, because I personally do not like having a wire poking me in the back of the neck. So I make it to where the wires are tucked under and they do not poke my customers in the back of the neck. So if you touch it, it's smooth. And that's how I like it, so that's how I make it. And we're just going to push it tight so the beads aren't floating around anywhere. Make sure our spacers are nice and snug like a bug in a rug. Nah, let me move you a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, this one is going to take some time because, where are you? This spacer right here is not lined up. So, I have to pull all these out. Because this spacer is in the wrong hole. So, you see how this went? This little guy's got a bunch of little holes? Yeah, it's supposed to be in that middle hole. It's not. So, I have to pull it all out, put it back in the right hole, and put it all back together. Which isn't going to be too bad. Because, I mean, all the beads are right here. So, all right. I just need to make sure I find the beads. All right. One, two, three. Oh, four, five. Crystal, big pearl. Spacer, um, that is the correct hole. Big bead. And these big beads right here are ceramic. Okay. Spacer, right hole. <laughs> and, yep. Okay. So, um... Where's my crystal? There you are. Let's say, because I still have one more crystal here. All right, pearl, big pearl, crystal, one, two, three, four, and five. 
Big Pearl, one, two, three, four, five, Big Pearl, scooch everything down, one, <laughs> Two, three, four, five, the pearl, one, two, three, four, four, five. Big pearl. One, two, three, four, and five. And five. Okay. Now, now everything should be copacetic, and it looks like it is. All right, make sure our pieces are nice and snug. And I'm going to start this, but I believe I have way too much wire here. Hmm. Maybe not. I make it work. Okay. All right. And we're gonna, again, we're going to take that, the tip, this little piece right here, Oop. it's like very sharp at the moment, and we're going to fold it in. This is a little tricky. We're just going to fold it in, and then we're going to push it into that spiral. We're going to push it down. Okay. That way, and we're going to squish it. That way, when you touch it, it is nice and smooth. And there you go. Necklace. Probably looks a little funky with my red shirt, but there you go. All right, that works out quite nicely. I don't have my six inch bags here, but, oh, I can show you what it looks like here. Cause I got a neck. I got a neck. Isn't it pretty? But yeah, so for smaller necks, it's gonna wrap around back here. And for larger necks, it's going to sit open like that but it's still not going to come off i mean if you go do cartwheels and such it'll come off but it's just like the rat bracelets only it's necklace so yeah that's it so i think that turned out really cute so anyway um that's it actually uh that was pretty good timing and um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You're going to have to let me know if you like watching videos like this or if you'd rather me just stick to the paper crafting. Um, this is just a generalized crafting channel after all. So we do all kinds of crafts on this channel and um, we just play with what makes us happy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me in today's beading session. And uh, yeah, go take a look at artbeads.com. They have a lot of really cool beads there. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.